Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for stopping in here and joining us. Um, well now, we finished up the Mercury 40 single carb twin cylinder two stroke with the uh, busted up drive shaft and uh, so I moved that one out of here and we brought in another one. Now this one, the first thing we're going to do with it is a fax check because this is a motor many videos ago it was a long shaft. The fellow wanted a short shaft. He was coming from out of state so I said yeah I can do that for you and he was coming up here for a fishing trip, hunting trip, something. And uh, so this is the one where I cut the shift shaft rod and all, bent it, regrooved it uh, for the coupling and then I made sure it was running good and all. Ran fine. He said they went on their hunt. It worked for a while and then quit. So, that's why we're going to start out with a fax check. See what the issue was. Um, if it's the engine, something electrical went. Possible. Um, I had cleaned the carb and everything on it. Test run it really good. Changed the lower unit oil. Did a whole bunch of other things to it. Uh, before I sold it to him. So we're going to look at it and find out what went wrong, um, whether it was operator error, whether it was something internal went, but we'll start off with a fetch check and the engine in questionis, you understand us, is a about, I think an 88 right in there, 50 horsepower originally long shaft now short shaft two stroke low pro low profile Evan root so that's what we're gonna be dealing with so without further ado let's get on it
pretty nice day out. Even got the youngins playing out on the trampoline. Sun's starting to set. Got. Eh, we ain't got much snow. Yeah. Pretty day. Wind blew all the snow off the outboards. Uh-oh. Now Fret, on the other hand, he got, oh, he's not a happy camper. See, he got that white stuff, and it's done turned to ice on his lips, and, uh, oh, yeah, Fred says he's miserable. Says, uh, he don't like this weather. Says, I can do without this. Come on, Fred. It ain't that bad. Well, there's the little cutie in question. She's a little cutie. Okay. Oh. Let's see. It's an 89, is what it says there. Okay. So, let's take a look. Peep, squeak, peep, 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 a deep, deep, deep. There it is. A little rusty. But, uh, overall, everything seems to be in order. Yeah. Looks like the fuel hose might be a little wet there or something. I don't know, but I don't see anything just jumping out. It says, I'm broke dead. I'm broke dead. So, let's see. The throttle seems to work all right. A little sticky. But then she opens wide open when I put her in gear. Yeah. Wide open. Okay. And this is, yeah. Okay. Pulls over. So. Let's see if we got Spocky Wacky. We get them plugs out. Examination these here. Spark candles. For all you folks over there in the Soviet Union. It's my understanding. They call them candles. The spark candles. Hmm. All righty. We've got it. Uh, the sparky, the spiders. The rag here so they don't be grounding out to nothing. Let's look at these top two right here. We got good sparks. Nice and hot there. Put 
the old Sparky Spider up. Now, let's get out Mr. Compressionis gauge. We'll start out with the bottom, with the bottom cylinder. Come on now. What is it? Not liking the way that's feeling there. But it had a spark plug there. Mm -hmm. Get a spark plug and screw back in that chase of it. It feels kind of weird. Ooh, spark plug goes right in. So, I'll get Try the top one, see if it'll go in there. What's going on with my spark checker? Oh boy. I'm having just as much trouble with it. Yeah. I think we got the top one okay. Okay, we're at Zero on the compression top cylinder. And let's give her about four good. Okay, we're looking at 95, 100, about 90, 105, about 105 there on the top. And I have not squirted anything in these cylinders, and this motor has been sitting for right at six months. I cannot get this thing started today. Guys, we're out in the field, kind of. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. Zero. Zero. We on zero. It's gonna be four good ones. What we get? What we get? Ninety. Ninety-five. A hundred. A hundred and five. About 108 on the top. So 105, 105 is a running out board. Okay. I'm not going to squirt anything in the cylinders because I want to recreate, so to speak, the engine that they had out there. So far, we've got good hot spark, and we've got good compression. Yes, we do. Uh, 
At this point, I'm going to pop it in the tank and just see if gas goes into the carburetor. Now, if I'm going by what the fella said, that carburetor should be full of gas. Because he said, they hooked it up to a tank. It, he said the first trip it ran good. Then after that, they couldn't get it to start. So, find me the OMC. That ain't the OMC. That is, oh boy, it's an old one. Where's my other one. Where's my other one like the another one. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> okay, now when I squeeze the bulb on this, if they were getting gas in it, to it, sorry about that, it should be full of gas. One squeeze, no resistance, two, no resistance, three, no resistance, four. Don't feel like the bowl, the car bowl was completely full of gas to me. Gas did go in when I squeezed it. Their choke is working. I can see the lever. So, put it about... Make sure she's opening that a little bit. Looks to be. Hmm. What? Oh, geez. I think I see what's wrong with it already. Let me get a flashlight. I see something looks abyss. Maybe not. Yeah, it is. I can see what's going on. That ain't right. It would still start like that, I think. But I'm going to go ahead and take the air silencer off so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Yes, sir. Only two screws holding this air silencer on there. That's kind of unusual to me. the air box off. Now, let's look. Let's look. Try and get you in here. You can see. Yeah, I'm probably going to need a See that? Look at this cam follower there. 
and you see how that's all maybe I can get you a better angle over here can you see it it slid completely off its shaft there So, anytime you would go to give that fuel, or, you know, to rev the motor, You can see it wouldn't have revved up. And you're supposed to give these things a little bit of gas. Um, to start them. And with that being like that was, it probably wasn't. It may have started, but they wouldn't have went nowhere. So let me shove that starter out to the side and we'll see if we can't fix that a little better. And I'm going to go ahead and take it back out of the tank so I don't drop nothing. I'll be back. Okay, all that holds this cam follower on is right down here and you'll see it in a minute is an o-ring a rubber o-ring now if they put it in gear and that o-ring which is probably down in there somewhere popped off but when I go to give it gas watch what happens here now the starter was here which I've got hanging here so that wedged it, it got caught in between the starter cup and that. So I'm gonna go out and get an O-ring and put on there. And so when you come forward, or when you give it fuel, it just pops that whole thing right off of there. And then it can't work the butterfly. I got this right. So there's that oh, this way. Like so. Like so. Yep. I think. Come on now. Let me go get an O-ring. I'll be back. Okay. So, there's what the little O-rings are. I chose the bigger one. It seemed to fit on there better. Um, just little O-rings. And I put one right there on the end of that shaft. Now I can throttle up and it don't slide off the end. So, let me get the starter back on and we'll get it in the tank. I'll be right back. Got that back on. Choke me with my hand.
It's making a pee pee on my floor. Nice little Evan Rude. All because of a 30 cent O ring. See the bald eagle there? Bunch of ravens are dive bombing him, squawking at him. These ravens and magpies picking on that bald eagle up there. Up there, sunning away. The old bald headed eagle. Got a raven sitting there right next to him, bothering him. I don't know. A lot of times, those bald eagles will have something clutched in their claws, and the ravens come up there and mess with them. And Try and get a free chunk of meat or something. Ain't that a pretty rainbow? I likes the rainbows. It ain't brought me my pot of gold just yet, but I'm, I'm still counting on it. Isn't that nice? A beautiful rainbow. What do you do? Sometimes it's just a little piece of plastic. The sad thing is these fellas went all the way out to somewhere remote and that ain't cheap to do around here if you're flying in these little bush planes and so forth um, but something like that if you don't have a little bit of a outboard knowledge outboard knowledge I mean the minute I started to start the little motor and looked in there I said well when I worked the throttle I said something ain't right um, because when the cam follower ramp came forward to move the cam follower it was all jamming in there and I was like well something ain't right there take off a couple screws put back a 30 cent o-ring and uh, go fishing hunting whatever but sometimes it's just that simple, uh, something that simple. So, I've been wanting to get to this one and just uh, see what was going on with it. So, she starts, she pees, she shifts, she runs. So the little cutie rude is taken care of. Now, I have to decide what I'm going to bring in here next. I've got some candidates and that is for sure. I just don't know whether I should go big, small, fabrication, new, old, or newer, old, four-stroke, two-stroke. I've got a bunch of them out there. So, I'm going to have to think about what I bring in here. What would you like to see? A Mercury, an Evan Ruta Johnson, Yamaha. I got a bunch of them. A spirit? I got one. So I'm gonna have to think about it and think what I want to bring in here. I've got a mercury out there that uh, I've got some fabrication stuff I'm gonna have to come up with. It's a 50... It's a 50 two-stroke I want to say yeah three-cylinder 50 with two carbs maybe something like that maybe three carbs I can't, I can't remember but anyway I don't have a hood for it and so I'm gonna to have to fabricate something so I'm thinking maybe going that route 
but I also got an older 1949 that I've been kind of jonesing to get to. And then I've got two or three four strokes out there that I want to do some mods to. So, what do you think I should do? Well, put it down there. And maybe that'll help me decide. So, this one's all done. And looks like that's going to be a wrap on this one. And I want to thank you for watching. As always, one more hack from Kodiak. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.